there's definitely other spots around the coast, around the, the island chain that, that have Fossilophora and Meandrina. This is the, the cauliflower coral that we're looking at today. So it's possible that there are you know, more spawning going on in the rest of the state as well. But yeah, none, none here today. There's two spawning periods this year, one in April and one in May. They could have uh, uh, could have spawned earlier this year. There's also uh, two more days of, of potential spawning for this round in May. So uh, today's the 17th, we could get some spawning on the, the 18th or 19th. By spawning, they uh, this is their method of sexual reproduction where they can uh, put out these, these called propagules, eggs and sperm, that mix together, fertilize, and then go settle down on the reef, creating new corals. So this is the, the main way that we create new corals. For this species in particular, it's very much tied to the lunar and tidal cycles. If you track the timing of the, the moon phase as well as the outgoing tide, that's kind of when they, they tend to spawn. Um, so it happens like uh, one or two times per year. This, time it, uh, this year it's two times per year, one in April, one in May. Uh, this is an interesting spot, so right in here, in this sort of shallow habitat, you don't get a ton of corals, but you do get these sort of little heads of, of Ophelopera meandrina and some of these smaller smaller chunks of coral, smaller colonies. Offshore here, we had a, a much healthier coral reef prior to coral bleaching in 2015. Uh, it seemed like a lot of that coral has, uh, has died off, you know, in that period. But we're looking at, you know, coming back here a little bit more and doing a a little bit more surveys in this area just to see what the current health is. Overall, in, in shallow here, it looks very healthy. The, the fish populations look great right in, in the shallows in Wailea. There's a lot of herbivores here. It's got some really big, big uhu and a lot of uh, schools of manini here, as well as some more traveling uh, predators like the omilu and, and some of the goatfish. The main concern here is, uh, is chemicals in skincare products, including sunscreen, including moisturizers, shampoo, conditioner, that kind of thing. Anything that we're putting on our body can have detrimental effects on the coral's eggs and sperm. So when the corals spawn, those eggs and sperm, they hang out in the, the top surface of the water column, which is also where people tend to swim. So keeping those chemicals out of the surface water at that time, I will give the corals the best chance of, of survival, or those propagules the best chance of survival.